Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In 1910, the heirs of Stephen Duncan Jr. donated the great classical revival mansion, Auburn, and the surrounding 210 acres to the city of Natchez. Although the house was built in 1812 for Judge Lyman Harding, the column mansion was home from 1821 to 1863 to Stephen Duncan Sr., considered by many to be one of the wealthiest men in the South on the eve of the Civil War. The donors stipulated that the land be made into a public park in memory of the Duncan family. Further, the Duncan heirs required that the house and the land remain together. Unfortunately, the city decided to sell the contents of the mansion at auction, but the great house and outbuildings became the focal point for what is today known as Duncan Park. Over the years, the city installed tennis courts, a swimming pool, picnic pavilions, and of course, a golf course. In 1916, the famous Scottish designer Seymour Dunn created what is today known as the Back Nine, whose gentle topography rewards accurate drives and precision short irons. George Mallon Davis Kelly of Melrose drove the first ball in 1920. The legendary front nine built in 1993 is an exciting Brian Olt design featuring rolling terrain and undulating dwarf Bermuda grass. Today, the elegant 18-hole, 6,350-yard par 71 course journeys through lush hardwood forests of beautiful flowering dogwoods, azaleas, crepe myrtles, towering longleaf pines, and majestic live oaks hung with Spanish moss. One golfer described the links at Dungan Park as the most perfect course with smooth greens and full beautiful tree-lined fairways. I'm Kate Mayo, a recent graduate of Cathedral High School and a member of the golf team, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.